Hello, CFDAers and greater fitness community. It's Michael from CrossFit Downtown Atlanta bringing you the workout of the day for Thursday, April 16th. It is called Blacklist. It is a five rounds per time workout of 80 double unders, 40 sit ups, 20 push ups, and 10 reverse burpees. Time cap of 24 minutes. The reverse burpee is our new movement today. I am going to go over all the movements uh, for you though and give you a couple strategies on finishing this. And so, double under or the jumping jack. So, double unders. Again, double under is when the rope passes underneath your feet twice every time you jump. A couple keys to making sure you don't trip right away. Start with the rope behind your knees, arms extended out in front. This will prevent the end. What happens a lot of times when the rope is here, you go and just pulls right out again because you're stepping on it. So, ropes behind the knees, arms out in front. Take a big breath in, blow it out. You can also start with a couple of singles to get your rhythm going if that's um, something that, that helps you go. On the jumping jacks, uh, 64 jumping jacks instead of 80 double under. So start with your feet together, hands by your side. You're gonna jump your feet outside your hips and your hands are gonna go past your ears. There we go. The sit up, we're gonna do butterfly style. So, what I mean by that is your heels, of the soles of your feet are going to be together. I'll show you from the side, like so. Start reaching in front of your toes, touching the ground in front of your shoes. Reach back, touch the ground behind your head, in front of your shoes, behind your head, in front of your shoes. We're looking for our shoulder to pass the hip crease. That's really why I say reach the ground in front of your shoes. The push-up, chest to the ground, um, stiff plank position. So you want to make sure your butt, your uh, hips and your shoulders and your legs all move in a straight line at the same time. Hands are going to be just outside the shoulders. Elbows are going to go back, not out. Good for the shoulders, bad for the shoulders. This is our position of power. That's where we're gonna push from. So, from the front, I'll show you. I'm here, I'm in my plank. I'm going to lower myself down, touch the ground, right back up, right back up. From the side, you'll see my elbows go back. <clears throat> On the push up, don't go to failure. If you know you can do five in a row every time, do five in a row. If you know you can do four in a row every time, or three in a row three in a row. If you think you can do uh, 9, 10, 11, maybe don't push it uh, until that last round. Think about that because as soon as you go to failure, you're down to singles and all of a sudden 20 push-ups takes a lot longer than it would have if you just done um, four sets of uh, five or five sets of four or breaking it up something like that. Last movement is the reverse burpee. Let me go ahead and say I'm not very good at these. Requires a lot of hip flexibility, which I don't have, but all you're going to do is you start from a standing position, you're going to roll back, uh, you're going to squat, then roll back, then roll forward back in a stand, and then jump, touch your hands over your head. So instead of going forward, you go back. So I'm going to show you from the front, then I'm going to show you from the side. Neither one's going to look very good, but bear with me. Alright, so we go down here, up there. If you can get both feet down on the ground together, that's great. I don't have that flexibility. From the side, again, I'm gonna roll back down. And that's our reverse burpee. All right, so five rounds for time. 80 double unders or 64 jumping jacks, 40 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, 10 reverse burpees, 24 minute time cap. Um, key on this is that on that first round, if you are at the 4 minute and 15 second mark and you're still on your burpees, I would move on to the next round. Uh, or 4 minutes and 30 seconds, but don't take longer than that. If so, you're going to have a really hard time finishing the workout. So and there's a lot, of, um, a lot of fitness to be had in getting the 5 rounds of the different movements rather than spending all of your time on uh, 1 or 2 movements and not, get, not getting through at least not getting deep into that fifth round. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, like and share with your friends. 
If you didn't, please keep that to yourself. Take care.